and the brother. Who will always be sleeping? Who will forever be sleeping? Uh, the the Good afternoon, everybody. Please permit me to stand on these um, long and intimidating protocols for the purpose of our time with us. Um, I'm going to start with the word of Daniel Lama, who is a famous speaker where he put them the same. The analysis of death is not to be careful of it, but to appreciate a life well spent. Honorable Gelsu, Ola Kondi, famous people, Tantolong, for those that don't understand the by Tantolong means who is like unto God, who is as big as God, who is as great as God, who is as all-knowing as God. That is a very powerful name. That is his film. That is how it's famously called. Um, my last memory of him was a very joyous one. And it's also recent as well, which also included some of the leaders on this podium. We met at a jolly event. We took pictures. It was with friends, families, with some members of the executive as well. 
and I'm sure some of the colleagues that are there still remember that memory still lingers. And that is what I'm going to keep as uh, uh, something to give his solitude of his memory and his person. Um, I'm, I'm going to enjoy all political associates, leaders, mothers, and the entire family to remember and celebrate the life of Dan Bologna, which is famous before. I know it is very difficult to hear the loss of a colossus like this, and a lot of his, of his deeds, which was part of his last deeds, because we remember that some of the deeds he did the last time he was here with us was sharing it for constituents of the of the local government that I represent before I finally pass from it. And I'm sure God has a reason for that. And God is preparing him for something better. And on that note, I want us to share a very joyous moment of him living. It is not going to be easy, but we have to shape our minds like that. Um, a lot of great people did end. The Lords are left behind as well. It is the Lord doing and it has to be marvelous in our eyes. I'm speaking on behalf of my colleagues from the Google LCD, also on behalf of the chairman of the Google LCD, um, Chef Mordun Baku is not here, he's on the national assignment, which I know some of us know about. And I'm very sure he's one of the most great because I understand how close they were. In fact, I, I almost started shedding tears as well when he was shedding tears, when he heard of the news. When we heard in our local government, I was arguing that it's not possible. Because this is somebody that I, I am also very, very familiar with amongst all the chairman, aside from the chairman as well. And it's not just a personal loss, it's a deep and sorrowful loss. But at the end of the day, he who owes us all doesn't require permission to take us all any kind of solutions. And that alone should make us have some solitude and also remember the smiles he has put in the face of people, the strides and developmental projects that he has tried to do during his time in the Dual City. And we can all live with that and remember that as, as, his, as his legacy. Although the biggest among his legacy is going to be his name, Tantono, which is very great and has a lot of meaning for those that are ready to and on this on this note I'm going to offer a very deep and heartfelt condolence to the family of the deceased. Um, it's also our family too. Even he is directly related to you my blood. He's a brother, he's a father, he's a confidant. He's somebody we are all very close to, so he's a family as well. We are going to miss him as well. But what we are going to do in his absence is to carry on his legacy. And I'm going to enjoy leaders, political followers, his uh, well wishers, and all the constituents whose life he has touched through his legacies, his empowerment, everything he has done in the world else here to live on and carry on his legacy. Because that's, we only die when our legacy dies. It is only when you live without giving a name, without giving a legacy. That is when you truly die. We never really die if our legacy lives on. So please, family members, leaders, legislative members, friends, sisters, mothers, and brothers, let us strive to carry on the legacy of Honorable Dodson, Ola Fondin, aka Tantolon. We say farewell to our beloved brother, so we need to part no more. Sorry. Thank you so very much. Um, next is of course to be the reading of the biography. But uh, we will be thinking about that. Um, we want to remember the big things of uh, Honorable Honorable Tom and after the reading of the rest of you. Um, we, um, I remember in this place that we are sitting on is a pet project. I'm sure you are in the truth or in the initiative. We are able to get to this stage. We don't cross all that we have learned here on the surface of the street and the source. Also, the Indonesian Voices Day. Indonesian Voices Day, I have been able to do a lot of benevolent uh, programs through 
create a lot of attention. We are ready to see the benefit of the living world. So right now, we are beginning to remember the video. I think on four times we will use the starting amount of money that we can use from set of windows and the collecting is the four times. We are going to be able to touch some goals in the government as an association while there was a lot. It was a there was a second, there was a third bastion on the middle of the university. Third and the fourth bastion on the middle of the university. And under that, during that time, there was a supervisor for our group. And we'll tell you one thing that we achieved. Although I transferred that paper to me, but I was a supervisor for education. I was a so I was in youth and sports at the point of time. And I brought about a, a, a football team in the university that uh, uh, we able to produce the two best players in Nigeria to do sports speaking. And when we transferred that uh, to uh, ministerial uh, authority, we transferred it to a great department as we continue to do. And those two players are Peter Osimi and Eddie Gunfredi. And it was under our watch that those young boys, when they were in secondary school, one was the commanding secondary school, that was Eddie. The second was in the Iron Secondary School. I uh, just left this statement, which was to proceed. And today, the story is the story of greatness. Those are the impacts and the contributions the great chairman of the UNB has been able to inject into the UNB of CD. It was forever to remember and we appreciate it. So thank you, Honorable Honorable. Uh, on that point, you made an impact. May God forgive you all your mistakes. No one is perfect here on that. We have our new uh, the, the, the good side, we have our humble side. May God remember us and forgive us all our sins. So, we call, because we want to hear the feelings of the, our, our guests, and it is uh, traditional that no one except the legislators can stand before the needs when it is on plenary. I know our Honorable uh, Legal Luminary, Honorable Barista Ogana, understands what I'm talking about. So by so doing, it will be very important, very pertinent, that the needs be known to the community level, whereby we will uh, um, accommodate uh, one or two uh, tributes from you, our guests. So, by so doing, I will come on Honorable Aziz, down to the University of Ogun University, to move the needs, uh, to call for the group of the needs to the community level. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. 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 Thank you, Mr. While we stand in office may have been met with the different challenges, at this time, I would like us to reflect on the contributions we have made and recognize the part we work the service for our community. I met my chairman when I was a teenager. 
we attended the same church at that time. That's the church where we still attended, King's Court. I was a teenager in the church then, and we were um, the new men in Christ. That's how long I've known Mama Gideon before. I've known him as a brother, and um, somebody to look up to before I knew him as a chairman. When he was our chairman, he dedicated significant time and energy to this room. Um, those days we come and we pass by the street by 7 days here. We still see his car outside. We still in the office for late hours. But the leadership is not an easy task. He faced a host of difficulties that come with guiding the community, but we faced them head on. In times of challenge, the late chairman tenure sparked important conversations within our community. These discussions remind us of the diverse perspectives that exist amongst us as a community. Today, we honor him. We embrace the lessons that we learned during this time of chairman. May we now strive to engage more thoughtfully and inclusively in our local government, ensuring that every voice is heard and valued. Allah Kali was a man of the people, was a man of the youth, a man of the elders, and a man of the widows. We will continue to ensure that all their voices are heard and valued. We will continue to foster the sense of community amongst them that he lived. Our community is stronger when we work together, when we learn from each other, and we work collaboratively towards shared goals. As we say our farewells, let us do so with the spirit of compassion and knowing that this is just a time of separation. It is farewell, not goodbye. We will meet again at the feet of Jesus at that time. So I say adieu on your Bumalato. So many good things have been said at our team. But my that for the Bumalak today, for what he has done, the project, the project that Patrick has that he has left behind. He deserves our prayer. I am a Muslim. I'm a Muslim uh, in Islamic tradition. We share this prayer for our dead. So I pray that this gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Thank you, Thank you. On behalf of the party, the APC, Oliver West CDA, your two deaths is a big sad to us.
I'm about to get up there. So, the only time that I've been telling the chair for the and the man said, and that's the vice chairman, and he said, um, he knows me, I know him very well. He's a man of few words. Uh, he was like, uh, becoming very cordial with me. So, and ever since then, anywhere I see him, so when I was transferred there, I had the story that I was going to be brought to him. And I said to him, I'm going to stay cold and that, no, I'm not coming to him. I'm going to him. It seems to be the devil who is in my So, on my level, as a transfer leader, I'm one of the foremost transfer leaders in Lagos. No, you can't go and put things I come. makeshift building for the CMI and that's the family. So we were to break it down the day. So I told him, Chairman, I've moved that this place is not yet completed. But because the legislators are agitating that the legislative building must commence. So I told him that we have moved. Oh, and said, my CM, thank you very much. And I said, and I said to him that so when you come, come and see the way we have positioned ourselves. I didn't know that was the last time I was going to talk to him. Um, okay, we met later that day at a party. Uh, the chairman of Ebene Dimu, sorry, I don't know who you had the 60th birthday at Mesobina beside the uh, Radisson. So I was there. When he was leaving, he made a sign to me. I can I have it recorded. It's okay on the video. It was past 10 in the, at night, much, much later in the evening. So when he was leaving, I was like, the chairman should see me here. Yeah. He probably will say, since I'm still waiting, he also will wait for me. So let him go. So he left. So I'm going to have a program on Friday morning there. So the chief of staff called me, CM, uh, where are you, sir? He said, oh, I'm on my way to the office. And he said, okay. Uh, that the chairman just wanted to know where I was. And I said, okay, where's the chairman? When will he get to the office? He said, in five, ten minutes time. I said, good. So I got here, I met the KBSCs, the two KBSCs, so the lawyer who had the commission of the Libyan. They were here, the DPOs were here, the DSS uh, woman was there, the civil defense people were here, because the chairman wanted to give them for security patrol and he wanted to give 100 well, uh, vulnerable people 10,000 naira and 100,000 each for 10 as grant for 10 other people. So the chief of staff just called me again. Uh, CM, when are you starting the program? I said, We are waiting for the chairman. He said, I'm afraid the chairman is terribly down. He can't uh, come. He said, He can't come. And he now said, So how are you going to start uh, the program? I said, Okay, I will coordinate it. But is it with a doctor or something? He said, Then we are taking care of it. So I announced at that program that uh, it was at a meeting uh, so that uh, it will be disrupted if I say that it was now. So we had a program, everybody was happy. So later in the evening I called, uh, well, the guy didn't pick his call. Then later in the morning, because when I got home I was too tired, we had a lot of programs happening. So in the morning I found out that my phone was off. 
So I picked the phone, charged it. The first call that came in was from one of my officers. One of lost the chairman. The chairman said, oh, you So you are not serious. And the chairman is okay. And I called the guy again. He didn't pick. So I called the SLG. He said they were at the mortuary at General Hospital. And I just dressed up, people rushed down. I saw them putting him in the body bag. So I said, okay. So it has happened. I that was happening. family of Okiagwe, Akuko Edo states, and the Adele Yera Man Fireme Clan of Aboruku town in Iba, LCD, Okiagwe Division, Lagos State. From his early years, Kalado took displaying a keen interest in education and pursued various academic programs, obtaining degrees and certifications in different fields. His education started at his primary school in Agege, Lagos State, after which he attended Kaguro Primary School, Kaduna in Kaduna State. He further his education at Community Secondary School in Beda, Kora State, where he obtained his YA in 1987. He then proceeded to the Institute of Basic and Applied Science and started start for his job in 1989. Later, he obtained a B.S. in Sociology and a Master's Degree in Public Administration from the Lagos State University, Ojo, and Agege Campus. Presently, he was pursuing a Master's Degree in International Relations at the University of Ibadan, Ohio State. A lot of two works experience spans both the private and public sector and have served in various managerial capacity. He worked for Gabriel Engineering Contractors, Taco Group, Ojodo SCDA, as Supervisor for Finance, Onegoko SCDA, for two times as Vice Chairman and Executive Chairman. Over the years, Ola Dutton received several merit awards, commendation and membership to various professional bodies. He was a member of the Students' Parliamentary Council, SPC, Quara Poli, Delore, PRO of the Department of Sociology, 1994-95, Escort General Secretary, Faculty of Social Science, 1995-96, Escort, Lagos State University of Job. He is a member of highly rated chartered issues of personal management and CIPL and as fellows of Institute of Public Administration of Nigeria. A lot of Tumala Kunle commitment to excellence extends beyond the border of Nigeria. He attended several international institutes and conferences, including the Transformation Coaching School London, United Kingdom, Policy Retreat Conference Ghana. Academic of Management, South Bank, University of London, United Kingdom, International Republic Institute, Kenya, Institute of Ontario, Canada, and Black Majors Conference, Atlanta, USA. Orlando II was happily married and blessed with three children. He was a pro progressively minded and loyal party man. An astute discipline and really 
resourceful individual and a consummate time player as well of experience and academic achievement equipped him well for different posts and duties. He has been instructed with over the years. Ola Dotun's story was one of remarkable achievement in leadership. He had inspired many and his commitment to excellence and service was an example that many people emulate. Thank you. By a man who was more than a boss to me. Honorable Dr. Tonapoli was like a brother, a friend, who rolled into war. He led with kindness, treated everyone with respect, and somehow made every moment spent with him feel like a valuable lesson in life and humanity. I spent countless hours by his side. And, and in the time, he became much more than an employer. His wisdom, compassion were constant, always pushing me to be my best. Even the simplest of tasks, his laughter could ease the longest days, and his advice stayed me. And his advice gave me long after our jobs together. He never just gave order, he inspired with a heart full of generosity and an unshakable faith in people. Losing him is heartbreaking, but I hold on to the memories, the lessons and the legacy they leave behind. Tantalong was truly a real soul and a guiding light. And I feel honored and grateful to have some such an incredible person. May, may we rest in peace. May we all strive to carry forward the kindness, warmth, and integrity we are finding every day. Our esteemed members of the community, esteemed members of the community, as we gather here today for the service of song, the memory of Rabbi Gola Tosanofoni, we pause to reflect on his life and his time as our local government chairman. Gola's tenure was marked by challenges and different opinions. It's important to remember that he played a unique role in our unique journey. Leadership is a complex path, often filled with decisions that may not always resonate with everybody. During time following his time in office, though at times it was contentious, he found ways to bring us together. He highlighted the importance of dialogue and engagement among us. He faced the intricacies of public service with the nation and he reminded us of the responsibility in shaping our government, community, and developing friendships and relationships. As we honor him this evening, let us celebrate the spirit of community that he was a part of. I recognize that differences can lead to growth and understanding prompting important discussions about how we support each other in future endeavors. May Honorable Lord of Sunsbury inspire us to approach our communities with empathy, open hearts, and a willingness to learn and listen. Let us work together to create an environment where all voices are included and we can learn from the past as we strive for a brighter future. As we remember him tonight through song songs, let us send a message of unity and hope Acknowledging the complexities of life, let us honor God the way He did. His Monica for stand so long. Truly, there is none like God. And the shared commitment meant to the of our community. Thank you all for being here to honor me very Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Council Apart. His existence and tenure as our chairman was of tremendous support to my reign and the entire Olikongo community at large. 
he was an ambassador of progress and was so committed to the progress of the Oligombo Council and Lagos State as a whole. All his good works are well appreciated and would be remembered forever. I am most grateful to God that he lived a, life, a, a, lived a purposeful life worthy of emulation. I pray that God in his infinite mercy will grant him eternal rest and forgive his shortcomings. My sincere condolences and thoughts are with his families, nuclear and extended. And I pray that the Almighty God will continually be their comfort at this time. You will be greatly missed, my able chairman. Continue to rest in the bosom of the Lord. This is from His Royal Majesty Oba Bunuwa Shegun Adeyemi Ajasa, the Aroshe of Unikongo Kingdom. Thank you, sir. Okay. And I'll take the next one. Though no longer in our physical presence, Honorable Dr. Mwalakone will always be in my heart. Missing you is the attic that never goes away. But remembering you is easy. I do it every day. In my heart, your light will always shine. Everything will be missed. It's Royal Majesty of our Dr. Odukumi Akibola Olu of Orebu. So we now have the representative from the House of Assembly. Honorable Biodo Orekupia from uh, Lagos House of Assembly. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Praise the name of the Lord. It is with a great heart that I stand here today to wish the friends goodbye. Dotsun has been a friend for over together for about 20 years now. Okay? We both sat as vice chairman for two terms. And since then, we've changed from being friend to brother. Dotu is a loyal friend. He never betrayed. He's a committed leader. I can say that with the whole of my mouth because I know what he's putting into the Bongo's development. We discuss with him about our challenges, but any time challenges come, they cost me. And I say, Dotu, and direction, go this way. He does it. Even if he says, honorable, I said, no, 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 just go this way. And that's why I called him a dedicated leader. He was committed to everything he has to that community. Dotu, a community person who loves his community to a fault. I pray that only people who look at government become to be strong. And I pray that the edges of Dotu will bring more glory. To his, the council of chairman, I know he will be, be seriously missed among them. Hard working, very, very unassuming. There is, you won't find those who fighting anybody. Even when they are arguing, at the end of the day, we say, What do you want? Is that what you want? It is okay. I will pray in so rest is perfect. Do not honorable police on your own. The Olo Pedro Chairman, AKA, if you move else to the comfort, give his tribute. Good evening, everyone. Uh, what do I say about that? A very loyal friend. Just like everybody has rightly said. My Honorable Record, you just said it again. It will serve as a vice chairman together. Before I was elevated to chairman, while I was during my first tenure as chairman, I served in second tenure as a vice chairman. 
then not too long ago, joined me on board uh, as a chairman, as a colleague. Your three is always there. This is the first like a honorable record. Of course, we all do have challenges. Your three is never afraid. He's never scared to share this challenge. Of course, uh, he sees me as a senior colleague, being a second timer and him being a first timer. So whenever you have challenges, it is, uh, and of course we share with us and then the little experience we have of oh, thank you. I will give him my little advice and uh, with that you can see how he has been excelling with his uh, leadership position at Unico West CDA. I don't need to tell you what he has been doing in that local council. We go there you see all his achievements already in the boat. Uh, very bold. I hope the incoming chairman will our appreciate you to support that. They are very short and very difficult to get those achievements in that place. Uh, Dr. Olakule was with me. For those of you that might not know, I had my birthday party about two weeks ago, precisely at the 1st of October. Dr. two was there with me to celebrate with me. When he was leaving, we hugged and patted each other. He said, Bulo, I'm leaving. He was dancing like I've never seen him dance before. So, and then he patted me, and then he left. Just to hear about that six hours later, that the person has passed on. <laughs> I was going crazy. I said, hey, just shut up, don't tell me that. Just, I can he pass on. He's a guy that was dancing and he went to be married to me at my birthday party. But God will have it. God knows better than we know. He has called it to himself. And they always tell us, that means God loves him more. That's why he has uh, chosen to take him from us. My prayer is that his gentle, his gentle soul rests in peace. It's a friend that will surely be missed. On behalf of the conference, our chairman is not here. So I've been asked to speak on behalf of the conference. So all of us are going to miss him sorely. Uh, you can see us turn out in our, almost in our numbers. But this is a team player, always there with us. Done, but we will always remember him. Batu was also the chairman of Club 60 Philanthropic Initiative. And if there's one thing I can also attest to, it is the maturity that God has blessed him with. Just as you have in any relationship. Uh, after issues, issues will arise, conflicts will come. Sometimes, you know, very boisterous, threatening to even consume the very essence of that gathering. But the two will sit calmly. But I must tell you, we were able to achieve a lot then, just because I have a brain behind me. Whatever we want to say, we want to discuss. Neither even in public, neither my speech. Dotu is always behind the door. Even when I'm having crisis with others, Dotu will tell me this is how to do, this is how to do. We normally have a meeting before meeting. He's a leader, he's a manager. We were very close to the city in, uh, in Pazon. On 31st, like one of my colleagues just came out to say, who spoke on the other thing, conference. We, we sat together, we were discussing together. Because when, when you think I am passing through, we pass through it together. When there was a crisis problem here and there, we would talk and discuss. But there's something that you always tell me, Princess, Tani Tolora. Tani Tolora. When you ask issue with some of the counselors I call up, called the leader of the house, I spoke with him and talked to him. But one thing I just felt is we shouldn't divide our house. We should make politics, as, we should see politics as a game. You might say, what is he saying? What would he, did he ask us? The day you will leave is the day you will leave. No one can kill anyone. But I want to tell you, I want to tell you, the chairman of Onigongo today, she used to be a candidate. I can testify to it. But 
there's a crisis in the house. It's going to be a lazy when God who was alive, when he was the vice chairman, who was as close to the chairman like this. Where you see the chairman, you see daughter. Today he has left this, this sinful work. Others in that SCD issue, they pray for and you must, you know, come together and continue to know God because there's one language that you will ever you will continue to see he, you know, saying when he was alive and Tolorum he said, go Tolorum he left the sinful world where are we? we are all here today Money. a lot of people are here to see Akilo Inshele, Babu Moshe he said, go Padre it's got to time but with the unity that the chairman has just even called for today, let's remember it is important for all of us to come together as a local government to accept. Because if you say that I'm about to pass my people, so that is what we don't know about. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You expressed undisguised joy over my transfer from Moshe to Nibo. Little did I know that your request was for me to come and coordinate your funeral. Tantolon, the Shakespearean character called Macbeth was told about the death of his queen, Queen Macbeth. And in some very soulful words, he said, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of our recorded house, but all our yesterdays have lighted fools, the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief can do. Life is but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and presses out upon the stage and is had no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. End of quote. The Latin have a saying, he said, Non est crede mihi, sapientis dicere divam, sera nimis ditaes castina, vive o die. It is not wise, believe me, to say I will leave. Life tomorrow might be too late. Leave today. Salus populi et suprema lex. The welfare of the people is the supreme law. That was what you appeared when you were with us. There's this Ikorodu song that I sang in the morning for Onikongo people. Onikongo. They call them Elele Oro in Ikorodu, traditional musicians. They said, Efoteyo in Ijebu, I'm from Ikorodu. Efoteyo ki wema maro enuro, ote moshe ni tobato, oni ebe mo, only a bear must see them go what they show. And when on my day, we will be there, shut them. Only me and Taye show, hey, for Rose on Rope, only me and Taye show, hey, for Rose on Rope, only one for, only one for that's it, for the coffee and fire. And my row in a row, but when you're a dog with the back, not tell back. Up when you're a dog with the back, not tell back. They didn't do marry, go for where I want to let them. A full ten year old, a full ten year old, you and Mama Row in a row, or tell me she needs to pat up, or need a bell more, or need a bell more, she let go of the show. And when I'm on the day, we will get shut out. I ended my speech with. Ah, oh, Padeleti, oh, do, oh, do, do, oh, do, do.